not that bad today. So how are you guys doing? Thanks for joining me for another episode of Bitcoin and Coffee. I'll be your host, Eugene Forrest. So, as we can see, the market is recovering today. Uh, you know, the gains aren't too great. They're everywhere between 5 and 10% across the board, it looks like. Um, Ethereum Classic didn't make any gains. They're down 1.3% more. Uh, but it looks like Ethereum's making some of the biggest gains. Uh, even though they had some of the biggest falls, it looks like they're correcting, you know, back up towards where they, you know, their all-time high of $400 are coming in at $294 right now. That's up 15.8%. Uh, so, I mean, this was, a, you know, a lot of people just jumping in on the FUD, uh, you know, driving the price down. Uh, and, I mean, we're slowly coming back. So, all of this problems that everybody was having and freaking out uh, was unnecessary. Uh, you know, we are in cryptocurrency and cryptocurrency is volatile. Uh, so, I mean, a lot of the people I talked to yesterday, they went and they bought more cryptocurrency. Uh, and I think that's pretty much what happened is that the prices of cryptocurrency started getting too low for people to not want to buy them. And everybody started buying them, driving the price right back up to where, you know, we're more comfortable with it at. So let's take a look at the market. We're back over the hundred dollar, or we're over the hundred billion dollar market cap. We're at one hundred one. So I mean that's fantastic. Uh, BTC dominance dropped just a little bit with uh, Ethereum taking up, you know, or getting back more of its growth, coming in at forty one percent. We got five point four billion traded in the last twenty four hour. So I mean, you know, trading is up there at some of the all time highs. And I mean, we got Korea and they're trading Ethereum and Bitcoin at a premium. Uh, you know, this is definitely helping to drive the price back up there. Um, you know, cryptocurrency is gonna be the currency of the future. It's pretty undeniable at this point in time. So during these low times in the market, um, you know, it's a newbie thing to be panicked and to start selling. Uh, you know, pretty much if you're in it and you've been in it for six months to a year to a year and a half, uh, you've started to come to the understanding now that there are volatile times. And, you know, the best thing you can do with cryptocurrency is to hold and to hold strong, especially through these times. And, to, you know, when you see stuff like this, realize that it's a good opportunity to go ahead and pick up some, you know, some Ethereum or Bitcoin or Steam or whatever on the cheap, right? So, all right, let's do the market real quick. We got Ripple coming in at 27.2 cents. That's up 2%. Uh, we got Litecoin at $41.10. That's up 6.5%. Uh, you know, that's pretty good. They're heading back towards that $50 range, which is, you know, where everybody was actually getting pretty happy with it at. Uh, you know, I hold a little bit of Litecoin myself. So, you know, seeing it above the $40 mark makes me happy. Uh, we got Ethereum Classic. Like I said, they're down 1.3%. They're coming in at $18.92. Uh, you know, hopefully they'll turn around and make some sort of corrections. We had seen Ethereum Classic prices getting up there and I'd like to see them back up there because you know they have you know they were ethereum you know it's what ethereum should have been so continuing on we got NEM coming in at 16.4 cents they're uh coming in at 6.25 percent higher uh we got dash at 181 dollars that's up 10 percent we got monero at 44.55 that's up 10 percent 10.7 percent we got zcash at 329 bucks that's up seven percent that's pretty good uh, we got Steam coming in at $1.81, that's up 10%, and we got the Steam back dollar coming in at $1.97, and that's down 14.7%, but I mean, they were well over $2 yesterday, so that's not bad considering they were one of the only people that were up. So what are we looking at here for news on BNC? Well, we got that there's a new virus out there, it's like the WannaCry virus, it's attacked over 200 computers. Um, you know, they're wanting $300 in ransom pretty much this, but this is mostly happening in the Russia and Ukraine area. You know, it's more of that. You got to, you know, keep your computer safe. This is mostly that they came in through on software that wasn't updated. Uh, you know, having your software up to date is one of the key parts of being able to, you know, keep yourself safe from attacks and all of that stuff, malware that happens out there. So. You know, it's just more of that reminder, word to the why, something to store away and make you think about, I got to update my systems. You know, I have to make sure I do my due diligence and keep, you know, my computers and my, you know, electronical equipment safe from, you know, predators and viruses and, you know, all the bad thing that's ha all the bad things that are happening out there. They're trying to get a hold of your digital devices. Uh, so let me see. What else do we got? Well, we got that Azus uh, will build graphic cards. Uh, you know, that's another 
major company that's hopping in on the crypto mining uh, scene. Um, crypto mining is going to probably be one of the, the form of passive incomes into the future that a lot of people are trying to get into. Um, you know, as long as you're not really dealing pretty much with mining Bitcoin, which has gone over to the ASIC. Uh, you know, then you're dealing with, you know, your own mining rig with six graphics cards. And when that's happening, then it's easier to do it at home. You can make profit. You can change from one coin to another coin to, to keep your profits up and stuff. Uh, you know, it's a decent form of passive income if you have a little bit of technical know-how. And you can, you know, have the electricity work out for you. Uh, it's a little easier when you own than when you rent because uh, I've been down this avenue. But at the same time, you know, it's it's growing. So I guess they're going to be making uh, cards RX 470 and they're going to be making a card P106. Uh, they're going to make it, you know, specifically for mining to withstand the heat and, the you know, the durability that they're going to need to keep it going, you know, through all that hard hashing. Uh, so let me see. The last little bit of news I got is something here that's from local. Uh, I got a 33-year-old guy out of Tampa, Florida. So, I mean, he's about a half hour away from me. Uh, well, apparently he was running an illegal exchange. He was working with some hackers. Um, he was helping to transfer millions of dollars that were Ill illegally obtained into cryptocurrency for money laundering purposes. Uh, and, you know, they put him away. They're going to be putting him away for about five and a half years. Uh, they were looking to get about double. Uh, you know, they were looking at about 10 to 12. Um, so, I mean, it goes to show that you can't just go out there and do whatever you want to do. You know, there are laws in place, uh, even though this is, you know, the Wild West. And, you know, you, cryptocurrency is pretty fairly unregulated. There are some regulations. You do have to, you know, make sure that what you're doing out there isn't illegal. Um, but I'm sure that most people, you know, you know when you're doing something illegal and not illegal. Uh, so, I mean... You know, this happened mostly between 2013 and 2015. This was some of the more of the earlier days of cryptocurrency. Uh, you know, a lot of these things have been shut down and aren't really happening in this kind of fashion. But, you know, I mean, it just goes to show that, you know, these things are possible and criminals are going to use this kind of technology for, for illegal activities, just like they would use, you know, regular money or, you know, a good computer or a fast car or a really nice gun, right? So, I mean, continuing on just a little bit from my thoughts yesterday, you know, everybody that held strong, you know, they're going to see their money back. Pretty much nobody, I mean, unless you bought within the last, like, what, 30 days or so, the cryptocurrency you have is within profit because of the bull run we've had recently. Uh, you know, and if you're not, like, if you bought cryptocurrency in the last 30 days and it's not profitable, I mean, really, how, how much do you expect to your profit to be returning you within 30 days? I mean, go take your money and put it in a CD and see what kind of return investment you get. Or, you know, I mean, do savings accounts even give you interest anymore? I mean, I've never seen any, I don't even have a savings account, actually, so I don't even know. It's been years since I've tried to have one. Uh, you know, I mean... Sometimes I think back, okay, when I first started off in cryptocurrency, you know, I was trying to dump more money into it than what I probably should have. And I would, you know, I was purchasing Bitcoin and this was around, you know, a little below the $700 range. I had purchased, you know, a few Bitcoin and at the time, you know, my wife was out of work or whatever. She was in between positions and the transmission went out in our vehicle and it was about two grand or something ridiculous to get it fixed. And I, you know, I didn't have the capabilities of being able to replace the transmission uh, it's too heavy, man. And then, uh, I didn't have the funds to pay for it. So I ended up having to cash out some Bitcoin. It was one of the few times I've ever had to cash out Bitcoin, but you know, my price had gone up and I was fairly happy over it that I had taken profit. You know, I think the, it was up around eight something at the time or a little over 700, you know, this was a ways back. And I cashed out, you know, about $2,000 worth of Bitcoin. Now, at this time, I look at it and it's like that would have been three Bitcoin. I could have went out and bought my wife another vehicle for that price, you know. Uh, when you go out and you purchase cryptocurrency, you need to go out and purchase it with the mindset that you are going to, you know, hold this stuff for a long time. You know, if you think that you're going to go out and buy this stuff and get rich overnight, then, I mean, you know, you're that's like going off and playing the lottery or going and buying scratch offs or going on the casino boat. 
you know i mean it does happen those are the glory stories but for most people for the wise investors they realize that their money isn't going to make them money overnight that it's a seed that you have to plant and you have to nurture it and watch the plant grow and then it'll bear you fruit so i mean if you like everything i got going on here on bitcoin and coffee i need you to hit that subscribe button we're almost 1400 followers on youtube we're over 1500 on steam it uh you know i can't be happier with how things are going on steam it uh, if you guys are on Steam and watching my video, please take the time to upvote my post. It's one of the best things you can do to help support me here. Uh, if you don't know what Steam it is, it's the next social media platform. Uh, it pays uh, users for posting, uh, for commenting, for liking, pretty much is what your upvote is. Um, you know, it's great. It, it really helps uh, media content providers like me or whatever uh, sustain what we're doing because, you know, donations are few and far between. Even though I did receive a, li a Litecoin donation yesterday, and I got to say thank you for that. Uh, that is very much appreciated. Uh, you know, your donations help out quite a bit because I am unsponsored here. But as always, I got my free help desk service. It's eugeneforest20 at gmail.com. Um, I also have all sorts of affiliation codes down below to help you guys uh, buy yourself a hard wallet if you can find one out there. Uh, I also have affiliation codes to get you free uh, Litecoin and doggies and Bitcoin. Um, I also have links down there to help you guys navigate these cryptocurrency market, how to build a better Steam post. Uh, and I got my donational addresses down there. So, I mean, anything you guys do to help me out is absolutely appreciated. You guys are the best. Uh, I love how we're growing around here, you guys. Uh, you guys couldn't treat me any better than you do. And remember, keep your Bitcoin safe.